Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video. So we're at it again with the uh, Can-Am Maverick. So I just keep ordering stuff. There's a lot more stuff coming to it. Um, I basically I'm taking this opportunity that I'm not allowed to take it off road because a wonderful governor. So thanks to our governor, I guess I have extra time to uh, do things to it, and modify things. So when it does open, then I'll be ready to go. So today we are installing mirrors. And the reason for this is very simple. You sit in these things. So yeah, I have a rear view mirror, but I can't see my sides. And obviously with flares, and stuff like that, I can't quite judge exactly where I'm at, especially backing up. Forward, I'm okay with it, but going backwards, believe it or not, you guys ought to try it. It's not as easy as it looks, because you're sitting in, so no matter how you turn your neck, you cannot get quite where exactly you are, and um, I, just, I just don't like it. So I figure, you know what, I found these online, they're fairly reasonable, and um, they don't want a lot for them, so I figured this would be perfect to uh, purchase. And uh, if down the road I don't like it, well then, it wasn't that much money. And if I do like it and want different ones, he, the sky's the limit. He can go from like uh, 50 bucks to like $800 for mirrors for these things. It's, it's amazing, you can spend thousands of dollars on this, on this machine. Um, just changing things up and upgrading it. Obviously, I'm not going to go that far. Um, it's not like I'm a professional off-roading person. I just want it to be comfortable and kind of my own thing. Um, you know, just like the Humvee, I'm going to change some things on it just for my own personal thing. Just personalize my vehicle. Um, that's just something I've always done my whole entire life. I don't like to put a lot of stuff on it, but for stuff like this, you, I'm putting on what I need, like performance. I got some parts coming in for performance. That's going to be done. Um, you know, pretty much as far as decorating it, I don't know. It looks fine the way it is for now. Uh, I might get in chain designs to do something with it down the road. Uh, he got one. He got the RR, uh, basically an upgrade model for this one. So, in this one, like I said, this one's getting some some really cool radical changes down the road here. So due to the fact that I got plenty of time to do this since I can't ride it. So we're gonna get with the installation. Got the tools, got everything laid out. So But when actually installing this, so you don't make the same mistake I made, um, which it's not a big deal, but they make this slotted, this piece, is slotted with this. And the reason for that is because then when you put it up here like this, the mirror is actually a lot straighter than what it would normally be. Otherwise, you wouldn't get the... Uh, results that you want.
got ourselves a mirror. Try to make sure I don't do this wrong twice. It's all plastic. It's right around fifty dollars, something like that. So. So beautiful out, I don't have to run my uh, air conditioner or uh, heat today out here, so that makes it for a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. Like I said, if you ever rode one of these, you would agree. You sit down and you sit low enough inside of it that, uh, well, let's just say you, uh, you can't see very well. You can see with your rear room mirror. I'm not saying you can't. And you can see out the sides comfortably, front, except when you're backing up. My biggest thing, even when I took it out riding, was the fact that I did not see where I was as far as backing up and how close I was to something. And I'm just not in the mood to guess. So that's what brought this on. I figure this would be simple fix for the moment. And it'll uh, take care of it. You guys, see that? And before I tighten the other one, I want to place this one in. Because sometimes, if you don't do it right, what happens is you don't quite get it. And you'll need both Allen wrenches. So you just put one, put it where you want it. Which in this case is like right there. And then tighten that baby up. Like I said, I went around the wire because I didn't want to pinch the wire. So, and that wire is for the light, light bar. So, here it is. Mirrors are on. It's coming along. Love it, love it. Anyway guys, so, hope you enjoyed this video. It was educational. Um, I'm really pleased with it and um, came on fairly easy so it's, like I said probably like a half hour set aside and you can get this wrapped up so anyway so that's the video for today another uh, addition another mod to the uh, Maverick Can-Am and um, definitely more videos coming on this and the H1 um, and we'll catch you guys on the next video Take care, subscribe, share.